Oh, I'm so excited. But quickly, let's do a little today's Plaza pick, celebrating some of the folks who were nice enough to come out and hang with us on the last day of the work week here. We saw Savannah and Hoda meet Inda celebrating her 60th. I had a chance to chat with Megan and her family. They're visiting from Oregon. Good to see them. Dylan met the Johnsons from North Carolina. They're celebrating an 18th birthday here in New York. So thanks to those folks. And if you're in the area, come visit us here. All right, now to, today, to Today Loves Football. This morning, we're joined by pitmaster Erica Blair Roby. Not only is she season two winner of Food Network's Barbecue Brawl, also happens to be an attorney, wow. a certified sommelier, wow. and the creator of Blue Smoke Blair on YouTube. Wow. Little busy entrepreneur <laughs> right over here. This morning, helping us create the perfect menu for the Dolphins Chargers. Big matchup game this weekend on Sunday. Erica, great to see you, Chef. Thanks you for being too. Here. Uh, let's start in Los Angeles, Chargers. Let's do what it. are we doing? All right, let's pork get in. Of some sort so the or? first thing we're doing, we are making Pacific Coast pork bites, mm. and this is amazing. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get some pork belly, and if you don't have pork belly, you can use bacon, and you just want to cube Where it up. Where do you get pork belly? You can just get it from your butcher. You, you have can, to ask for it. Is it something yeah. that's readily out? Sometimes it'll be out. It's seasonal, but you can get it from your butcher, and when you or you can get order it and it. take it home. Do you have to do a lot of trimming, like a brisket, or is it ready? Nope. to No. Nope. You can just go right in. Sometimes there'll be a little bit of skin on there, and you can just take that off. But one of the beautiful things about this is you get to be creative. You get to do what you want. Yep. So the first thing we're going to do is cube a little bit up. No pressure over there. I got you. There you go. You got it. Were those good enough? That was perfect. How big are they? Like a little bit bigger than dice, yeah. right? And the beautiful thing about this is that it's going to retain its moisture. So that's something really special you want because once you cook it, mm -hmm. you want to be able to still have like that sponginess to it. What's your flavor profile? All right. Now, so I'm a pit master. So the first thing yes, we're going to do is we're going to put some barbecue rub in there. Use your favorite one, whatever it is that you like. Go ahead and do that. And that's going to give you a really good kind of smoky taste to it. Yep. And then because we're out there in California, we're going to use a little bit of five spice. Love it. And this is really cool because it's going to give it a lot of exotic, earthy, sultry notes. And people won't know what it is, but they're going to be like, wow, that tastes good. Well, what are we going to ultimately throw this in the oven? We are going to throw it in the oven or you can put it on the smoker. Okay. So it's whatever you want to do. You All you want to do is just make sure you crisp it up and make sure that it's nice and caramelized. That's why we're using the brown sugar. Mm -hmm. And so what that's going to do, that's going to add that sweetness in there. So you're getting the full spectrum of the flavor profile right here in one bite. When I see the brown sugar, I think of, uh, is it going to burn? This it won't burn. That's the really cool thing about it. Because these don't go in for so long, you don't have to worry about it burning. And you're just coating it so beautiful. Put it on some parchment paper. And the beauty is, if you leave little clumps in there, that's just more flavor pockets. You want to spread them out? Doing. Spread them out so. because you want all the edges to have their own time in the sun. And if you're putting them on the smoker, pick your, pick your wood. It. You LA, like California. that? <laughs> Smoke in the sun. How was it, guys? And you got to try it. Yes, how was it? Try it real good. Okay, I'm going to get one with the, with the sauce. Keep going, yeah, yeah. Chef. So Keep then going. after you take them out of your smoker or your Sticky. oven, they're nice and crispy. And then Ooh, we're going to use I a little got, teriyaki. Oh, my God. They're like mm. chips. And this is stop. great. You put your teriyaki like in there. It's like the best bite of a rib. Oh, yeah. Yes. The meaty one. Like a hundred times. Yeah. Yes. Just great bites. Every, yes. That's there amazing. You go. Oh, and, and your hands are clean. Oh, good. And your hands are clean. Yeah. This is awesome. We're going to throw a little sesame in there right wow, now. That's really good. It's so good. And then we're going to take some scallions, just put them in there. You don't have to be pretty about it. You just yep. have to be ready for the game. And then here you go. It's good. They're ready. They're perfect. They're delicious. They are so addicting. Good. So yes. people are in love. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we're coming to Miami. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we are going to be making dolphin game day eggs. The first thing you want to do is get your eggs, put them in boiling water. And one of the secrets for eggs, people get really frustrated. After the water's boiling, just turn it down. You don't, it will cook through the residual heat. You don't have to rapidly boil right. your eggs the whole time. Is there a time frame? Can you set the timer for like a certain... controversial question, Carson. You're yeah. opening up a can of worms. Yeah. Oh, that how is... to properly hard boil yeah, it. Yeah, I go... One sorry. time I asked Hoda for Easter, I go, how do you hard boil an egg? She's like, that was simple. You do blah, blah, blah. And all of my dyed eggs were, they were this color on the floor, yellow wow. yolk. Right. <laughs> I, I, I go for nine minutes. minutes. A few minutes. Should have <laughs> What did you I just go, add, Chef? I go for nine minutes. And now, this is for people that don't have a grill or a smoker. If you're putting these in the oven. Is that liquid smoke? Add a little bit of liquid it. smoke. That's going to give you that oh, earthy nice. wood fire flavor. Wait, you only got a minute. What's love? the secret? All right, so here's the secret. So yummy. You're going to cut these open yep. just like this. Okay. Mm. You see, it's perfect because we perfect did it for nine minutes. Perfect. 
Now you're going to go. You're going to put it in there. Good this is with some mayo. Yep. Oh, you're just going to blend this together. Put whatever okay. you want in there. Yep. And now we're here. It? What's the dolphin <laughs> sauce? We now, the to... dolphin sauce is amazing. It's just cilantro, mayo, and lime. Yeah, lime. That's why I love it. Brings up the lime. You guys eating this? Chargers, Miami. I can't. i got to read the teleprompter. We'll read it. It's worth it. Headsettoday.com slash food for these recipes and a whole lot more. Don't forget to tune in this Sunday to watch the big game. Dolphins taking on the L.A. Chargers. Of course, that's here on NBC. Chef Eric. Erica, thank you so, so much. Well done. Esquire, Chef Erica Esquire. Yes. All right, guys, coming up on Hoda and Jenna, we got the hilarious Michelle oh, Buteau. Delicious. Is that crazy? It's so good. She's going to weigh, on, weigh in on your social dilemmas Ever. and the holiday party makeup yeah. tips from Bobby oh Brown. Up next on the third hour, more football talk. Now that we have the menu covered, Steve Pranacki's back at the big board. Acting the local news. Oh, my God. Yeah.